Hey guys, welcome back. Dustpox here on the Chexmex server again. So I did a little bit of work on our house, and it looks really goofy from the front. Also, I cleared off the island. Oh, I told you I would, and I did. I delivered. I actually just got finished doing it. It looks really weird from the front, but what I really like about it is that if you go over and look at it on the side, which is probably the place where most people, where you're mostly going to be looking at it from, it looks really, really cool. Boom. Look at that. And I know how I'm going to fix it so it looks good from the front, too. We're going to put that Widow's Peak in the middle there. Or maybe I'll put two of them, one on each side. I haven't decided yet, but I haven't even done the inside of it yet, so uh, I'm not going to really work on that today because this was supposed to be a boathouse. However, I made a big boo-boo. Um, I got so excited with the idea of building right here that I forgot, you know, my plan for the boathouse. And uh, that was bad. And thinking about it now, I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do differently. So we're going to build it on the island instead, and it's going to be facing this way, I hope. And uh, let's I'll show you quickly what, what I meant by I made a boo-boo. Um, it was a big one. can't believe I did this. Um, the house right now is like this. See how there's this wall blocked off right here and a door to get in? I don't want that. I want this to be like this. This roof coming off. No front wall here. But in the back, there's going to be a the house area with a door in it. And then this huge canopy that can be open and have like different pillars holding it up. It goes out into the water. Sort of like this. And then say like the water will be running like right through here. Like all up in here and stuff. That's that's what I want to do with it. And uh, that's what I wanted to do from the start. But uh, I got too carried away with it and completely forgot what I was doing. And I made that boo-boo. So um, today we're going to build the real boathouse. <laughs> Not going to retitle my last video or anything, but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm a big old dorkhead and uh, can't concentrate on anything because I'm weird. Anyway, so today is Monday, which means all you good boys and girls out there who are not in college yet are back at school. In fact, some of you guys who are in college are back at school anyway. Um, my school is that unfortunate school that gets the extra long break and uh, doesn't have to go back. And I say that for one reason, because I was on Tib Tuner's um, live stream the other day, and everyone was complaining that they had to go back to school. And I'm like, what are you guys complaining about? I would die to go back to school right now. I'm so bored sitting at home. Um, I love school. Um, I didn't always love school, though. And then I, I remembered that. I remember that I, first couple years of high school were miserable for me. I absolutely loathed high school the first couple years. Let's turn this volume down, because uh, I got some slimes jumping around there, and I, I want to talk to you guys for a little bit. I haven't really talked for a while, but uh, I really hated high school. First two years of it, it was awful. I got picked on, beat up, all that sort of stuff, and it wasn't it wasn't good at all. Um, but it wasn't until my junior year that I really began to enjoy it. Um, and now, just, I love school. I'm... I'm I'm going into my second semester as a sophomore in college right now, and I absolutely love school. Um, there's a couple reasons for it. Um, when you get into college, there's so much more freedom, and uh, you know there's you can do anything you want. You know there's nobody there to tell you no. But with that freedom, there comes responsibility. So when you have to deal when you do that stuff that you want, you also have to deal with the consequences. So you know keep that in mind in any circumstance that you're in. Um, I broke my axe, dang it. Anyway, uh, but my girlfriend's at college with me right now, so I, I love going back to school for that reason. I miss her like crazy right now. And, uh, but I really enjoy my classes. When you get into college, it's, you know, you may hate high school because, you know, there's, there's a lot of rules and where am I? I'm very lost right now. I don't know how to get back to my house. This ain't good. I think it's this way. Yeah, there it is. Anyway, um, you know, there's all these different rules and guidelines and stuff in high school, and I mean, when I, my high school was really good. They let you take, uh, they let you choose your classes. You weren't, like, put into them. And, uh, so that helped out a lot, but when you get into college, you can choose any class you want. And the classes are more specialized for whatever you're excited about learning. So, if you like shop, you can take all shop classes. You know, and, and I'm sure you can find a major that works with all that. I mean, sure, there's those gen eds that you got to get out of the way that are required, but still, you know, 
get them out of the way right away, and then you don't have to deal with them later. And it's, I, I love it. I love going to school. And I was kind of shocked at, actually, how much I forgot I really disliked school until I really got into it. Um, you know, when, when I was in high school, I, I had a girlfriend, and uh, we were really close. And uh, I think I think that's one of the reasons why I started really liking high school. She kind of I, I'm a very, I'm very introverted, and uh, that means that I really don't like hanging out with people very often. I don't like uh, I hate meeting people. Uh, I, I'm really afraid of people in general. Like, um, if there's not a reason why I have to meet someone, for example, like the B team meetup was a lot of fun. I I wanted to meet them. I wanted to talk with them. I wanted to pick their brains. There was a reason for that. But if I'm like like forced into a situation that I don't want to be in. I hate talking to people. I feel very shy and introverted at those points in my life. And uh, what what happened with my girlfriend was she kind of flipped that around with me and forced me to be not so introverted because she she started introducing me to people and I started realizing how nice people can be sometimes. However, uh, she broke up with me last year or no two years ago. I don't know how long it's been now. It's been a while, but uh. Um, you know, I, I, I still don't like people in general, but, uh, and, you know, th I think that's part of the reason why I started doing these LPs was because, uh, I started doing them right around the time she broke up with me, actually, for sure, and, uh, I needed something to do, and I was, uh, actually, no, 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 I started doing them about half a year after she broke up with me. I started doing these LPs to distract myself because, uh, I kept getting all upset about everything, and, uh, you know what? Mauling over her was not worth it at all, because I am with someone who's ten times better, and she's she's very understanding about my whole introvertedness. Jenna is the coolest person you guys could ever meet, and, uh, yeah. But anyway, back to school. Um, so what happened was my, my girlfriend started, uh, getting me involved with people and different clubs and stuff, and, uh, she was she was in music too, um, not as serious about it as I was, but uh, she was in that, and so she helped me f uh, meet people through because she was she was in choir, and I uh, I was in bands, and I started meeting people in choir because I, I I entered show band, which is uh, if you guys ever watch Glee? I don't ever watch Glee, but if you ever have, <laughs> um, there is uh, the, it's called sh uh, they're they're a uh, show choir group, uh, and, uh, so I got involved with the schools that, I was the, I was part of the band for our school show choir, which, it was actually kind of fun, um, the music was easy, so I got really frustrated, because I hate playing easy music all the time, but, uh, and the person in charge was kind of a crazy person, but, um, I started meeting people, and I, I became semi outroverted for a while in high school. I started becoming one of those people that would run up to you and talk to you without being provoked, you know, without a reason. And uh, so that that really helped me in high school. I, now in college, I'm I'm back to my old ways of being very shy and uh, introverted. But uh, you know what? It's okay with me now because I've got I know where I am in life and I know where I'm going. And everything's cool with me. So let's get to work on this uh, this uh, dock. I want it to be out here. All right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna go nine. I think. Let's just see how big that looks. If it's big and if it's too big, we can shorten it up by two. If not. We can do things about it. Mm-hmm. I think that'll be okay. It'll be just fine and dandy. So let's go back with this, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. And then we'll line it up here as well. So right there. All right. And what we'll do is we'll clog this up a little bit just to make it a little bit more landy. So we don't have very much land to work with. Because I this was all up a big old tower of dirt. So I like that. That'll look very good. That's not what I want. <laughs> and 
Anyway, so, uh, so to those of you who really hate school, I just want to let you know it gets a lot better, okay? So don't, if you're not thinking, if you're in high school right now and you're really hating it, don't think about not going to college just because high school is bad right now. Trust me, you don't want to make that decision. Um, I, I really hated high school forever, and we need more land. And now I'm in college and I love everything about it. Um, my first year of college was, was really difficult. But, uh, I mean, for, for more than just academic reasons. It was, it was, it was a tough time. But what, what I've learned um, is that you've got you to gotta push through these things. You've got you to gotta teach yourself to really, really enjoy what you do. And there's different ways to do that. One, one of the ways that I found was to um, find something that you sort of enjoy and incorporate it with the thing that you don't enjoy. For example, I really love music. So what I did is I started... Um, oh, that's wrong. I started uh, doing lots and lots and lots of music at school. I got involved in just about every band there was at my high school, and uh, I I owned, I rocked, I was like, power sax man. And, uh, let's see, how do we want to do this now? I'm sure the house can go a little bit in the water. So let's go one, two, I can't see, three, Four, five. We'll go right here. Um, how's that look? That'll be okay. And then we'll go five out this way as well. So, one, two, three, four, five. Um, yeah. So, so what you gotta do in in high school is really find those things that really make everything a lot easier. Um. So, it might be video games for you. You know, you're watching a video game channel right now, so it, it might be, it might as, it, we'll, we'll take video games for example. I've never really thought about this, but how can you incorporate video games into your academic life to make yourself enjoy what you do school-wise a little bit more, you know? Um, I, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, for example, let's think. Uh, well, okay. When I was in high school, my high school had a uh, a video game programming class that I took, and that was awesome. Hold on, I gotta count: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll go there. Boom. And uh, so that that was cool. I had a lot of fun in that, and I met a lot of cool people that are still friends of mine today. Five, six, seven, eight. In fact, a lot of the people that watch my channel are some people from that class. And so, that's really cool to me to know that, um, you know, I took... I, I'm, I'm not that hardcore of a gaming nerd. To be honest with you, I'm not. Oh, shoot, did I screw this up again? No, I can work with this. I can totally work with this. Two, three, boom. I want that further back, I think. Well, hold on. No, that'll be good. Anyway, uh, so I'm not that hardcore of a gaming nerd, so uh, it's really cool to know that um, some really hardcore gamers are watching my channel. Um, I'm trying to get myself into it a little bit more. I really love video games. I mean, um, you know, I couldn't tell you exactly... You know, this character was in this video game for this many seasons, or blah blah blah. I, I really couldn't tell you that, but uh, you know, I, I enjoy video games. There's something that have always been like really close to my heart, I guess you could say, and uh, they've always had a special place for me. Just because uh, if you watched my Madhouse entry, you'd know a little bit about this. When I was in first grade, I had meningitis, and. Uh, the first thing that my dad told, well, one of the things my dad told me was that when I got out of the hospital, what he was going to do was buy me a new N64 game. And so that's that's just one of those memories that's always stuck in my head. Is uh, my first N64 game. And that was uh, Donkey Kong 64. Which is still probably my favorite video game ever. It's a good one. If you haven't played that, I seriously am going to tell you, go 
get that right now. Go find an emulator, go get... I, I shouldn't be advertising emulators or anything, but seriously, this game... It's, it still holds a record for the most, having the most collectible, like, the most collectibles in it. Like, there are, there's five don there's five monkeys uh, that you have to get, and then in each level, there are a hundred bananas for each monkey, five um, banana medals, um, five golden bananas, uh, and like 30 or 40 coins. And you gotta collect, you don't have to collect everything, but there, oh, and there's like two banana fairies that you have to take pictures of in each level. So there's a lot to that game. And if you've never played that, it is definitely worth going and checking out. But I'm, I'm getting off topic here. Um, yeah, so if, if you're really struggling in school, find a way to incorporate something that you really enjoy into it. Um, it, it'll help you out a lot. You'll, you'll meet friends that way, you'll, uh. So there's just a bunch of different stuff you can do. Um, I know I know when I first started having trouble with school, uh, the first thing I did was um, I kind of introverted myself, like I said earlier, but uh, I started hanging out with some bad people, people that you know aren't necessarily good for me, and uh, that's one thing that you really need to look out for. And uh, you know that they, they're I, I still hang out with those guys. Don't get me wrong, they're they're very nice people, but uh, you gotta, you gotta know your limitations, especially with people like that. Um, sometimes, sometimes they're gonna try to do stuff with you that you know you know you shouldn't be doing, and you just gotta say no. It's, it really is that easy. You know, a lot of people are like, I remember I was talking to one of my friends about it, and uh, you know, I'm like, you just, you just gotta tell him, you know, I don't want to do that. And he's like, it's not that easy. And in all honesty. You know, yeah, they're your friends, but if they really are your friends, then they're not going to try to make you do something you don't want to do. You know, something that's going to go against what you believe. And this needs to go out even further, I think. Because this isn't big enough at all. So we're going to keep widening the base of this. <laughs> this is going to, like, take up the entire island. Jeez. I need to make sure that there's still some land visible. Um, anyway... So I started watching uh, Naruto Shippuden. I I, uh, I watched the original Naruto series with uh, one of my buddies, who uh, I haven't seen in a long time, unfortunately. But uh, I started watching that with him, and he got me all hooked in it and stuff. And now I'm watching the second series, and oh my gosh, you guys, I am um, head over heels with this show. It's so bad, it's so terrible. How much I love it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There we go. That should be big enough now. And now we can go to bed as well. Oops. We don't want anything spawning out here. That'd be very dangerous for me right now. I'm going to definitely have to reshape this island. And we need more wood, so let's head back anyway. Yeah, that's much better. We're going to have to make this island bigger in a bunch of different directions, because you can barely tell that there's an island to it. It just looks like a floating house right now. Ay ay ay. So... Oh, I haven't even gone up close to show you the, uh, the old boathouse. I'll have to do that in just a minute. Anyway, um... Where's my axe? We're gonna need more wood. We're gonna need lots more wood. Jeez. Yeah, I, I really like the way this is looking. This will be a cool little house. We're going to have to widen it out over here a little bit. Just so that we have a nice little pathway that we can build. And we're going we're gonna to turn this into a village, I think. Um, we've got a nice base underneath our main house. And uh, I think we can just keep going with this because I'm, I'm enjoying this. I, I like building. And if you got any ideas for buildings that should happen out here, send me a message or a comment letting me know. And I'll see what I can do. Like, I'm thinking, like, a church building, maybe, or, uh, some cool stuff like that. We'll work on it. You gotta think of ideas. You gotta work with different shapes. You gotta play with all these different fun things. But, uh, we're starting to run out of time. We only got, like, ten minutes left. But I I'm gonna go a little over today, because, uh, you know, I spent a lot of time just working that base, and it's not looking too good right now. So I'd like to at least get, uh, something else up on here. 
Um, num num num. Let's see, I'm, I've lost a bunch of my regular trees since I started planting these guys. Um, I'm also thinking about taking down the mushrooms because they're looking tacky now. And uh, just making a giant, really thick forest out here. I think that would be really fun. 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 And uh, we could be like an elven village. Haha. <laughs> we got Beckendorf and we got the elves because we don't get along. No, I'm just kidding. We get along. We're fine. Anyway, um. So I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, the, the Naruto, Shippuden. Holy cow. That show is so amazing. Um. I'm not going to give any spoilers, but I'm. I gotta tell you, I stayed up till 5 o'clock last night just watching that. I'm up to, like, episode 26 or so, so I'm, I'm around the part where, uh, where there, where, uh, Sakura is just, hey, is it Sakura? I can't even think of names right now, I'm so tired. Is, uh, she just, she just beat Sasori, the puppet master dude, and, whew, that was really cool. That was a cool fight. And, uh, also... I hadn't watched Naruto for a while since I hadn't start I hadn't watched it since I started watching uh, a lot of Minecraft videos. So um, when I started watching Etho, I had already finished uh, Naruto, and uh, one of the things I've realized why I like Etho so much is because of his skin. <laughs> I got to tell you, it is 100% of why I like Etho is because he has the Kakashi skin, and. Uh, you know, I, I I was thinking about it, how similar Kakashi and Etho are. They're both, uh... I'm not going to say copycats, because uh, if you know anything about Naruto, uh, Kakashi is the copycat ninja. But, uh, let's see. How are they similar? I, I had a whole list built in my head, but you know what? I am so tired right now, I can't even bring myself to think of it. Um, They're both... Teachers? I can't even think about it. That, just the way they, they are, the way they talk, the way that they... Um, I don't know. I, I had a list and it made sense to me earlier, but I can't I can't talk today. But I thought it would be funny if someone ever got on the Minecraft server, and just to mess with Etho, uh, had a guy skin. Like, uh, Guy Sensei. He's like Kakashi's quote-unquote rival, but they still work together. It's hilarious to watch that show, but, uh... I think that would be really cool if someone did that. Anyway, back to work. We got a whole stack in ten that we can work with now. I really should keep lighting up this swamp area. <laughs> I'm getting so many slimes out here. And one more for good luck. Alrighty. What are we doing for time? Just to keep... I don't want to go really over 40 minutes or so, so... I'm going to try to keep it as short as possible while still getting quite a lot done. And, uh, it's going to be really, really hard for me not to get lag right now. Not to, uh, work on this without you guys, because I'm, I'm really excited about this. This is really cool looking. And, uh, I really want to start working on this. But, I must be patient, as usual. Uh, that's why I'm deciding to go longer, because I want to keep working on this. Alright, you can go there and you go there. So now what I want to do is something a little different. Let's see here. Um, I want to use another type of wood in here. So I'm not going to use a cobblestone base because it won't look good if it's jutting out like that with cobblestone. It'll look like it's going to sink. So I'm going to use a different wood in here for supports and stuff. I just want to see how it looks. I, I'm really hoping it's alright. Because it's probably not going to look good. So, let's see, we'll turn this into regular planks. I was going to use the logs, but uh, come to think of it, I've already got this all done in regular log. Why would I change it up now? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So, let's see, these guys are all going to be the same height. We'll go five up here. And then... We'll go five up here. Okay, that looks cool. It's looking good. And then, let's go five up this way here too again. And then we'll split this up. Let's see. 
There has to be a center point here, right? Yeah, that's centered. Good. I want to do at least half of this right now. Is that one too high? Yeah, it is. Shoot. Oh, well. Alright. And then we'll get this down. And I want to use this wood and see how this is going to look. I hope it looks alright. I, I can't imagine it would look bad. And put a window right here, but we need to go up higher anyway, so. Actually, let's do this. Because we want windows at ground level again, so that's how we'll do that. Oh, I actually really like that color. I've never really used uh, this color wood for much. Oop, come on. I did this wrong again. Shoot. I always do that. Whenever I get one side done the right way and then the other side I screw up. Uh, what I mean by that is I started this here when it should have been right here. And uh, let's see. Like that. That that'll work, I think. I'm liking it. Actually, I, I don't like the bottom though. So these windows are gonna have to be up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a floorboard in here. So I can do this. And climb up to the top again. So that will be, down here, that'll be a level below what it is inside. That works. That'll work very nicely. Actually, I don't even like these windows anymore. I have an idea. Whoa, whoa, hold on here. Just like that, I think. That'll work. I think. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it looks off a little bit yet, so... And we'll get rid of you. And we need windows on the side still, so... One, two, three, four. So we can do a two window here. Like that. Alright, how's that looking so far? The inside's gonna look a little goofy till I get the floor in, so just, just bear with me. And I think this is going to all be pretty much open. So we can keep up with this pattern. We'll be good. Very good indeed. Should I put a window here too, or would that be a little overkill? No. No, I think it'll be fine. One, two, three, four. So one, two. One, two. Boom, boom, boom. Ba doom, boom, ba doom, boom. Alright, let's just get a quick look and see what this looks like from the outside. Okay, that looks good. I like the front window. I won't be able to tell much until I get that side over there done, but I don't know if I have enough logs to do it. I'm actually liking this. This looks very good. So let's, let's hit the hay real quick and we'll work for maybe one more day. We've got 10 minutes left until we hit about 40 minutes, I think, so um, that should be good. Oh, dang it, I went, I kind of jumped the gun there, didn't I? Let's get rid of some of this dirt. We don't need it all. And, uh, then we can make some more of these. And we can clog you two together. And I've got some glass on me. That's good. And sleepy bye! I'm on alone again today. I feel sad when I'm on alone. Alright. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So, um, today is the 7th, and, uh, I go back the 22nd, I think, of, of this month, and I'm trying to do a surprise for Jenna. She doesn't watch my videos, so I can openly talk about this. One, two, three, four, five. So don't worry, it's not like if you say anything on here, she'll find out about it. 
But I'm trying to figure out a good idea to surprise because I'm going up. I'm going up on. Uh, we're planning the 16th for the date that I'm gonna go up and visit her. But I want to do something special for her because our uh, year and one month is coming up. So we've made it a month past a year, which is really awesome. And I'm really excited about it. But I don't know exactly what I want to do to make it uber special. I gotta find out, I gotta figure something really clever out. Something that I haven't done before. I should probably turn those guys around. Like this. Come on, X. X. I didn't X Q your opinion. Well, we had just enough uh, of this stuff to get us where we needed to be. That's really good. Let's go around the inside because it'll be easier to maneuver. Maneuver. Anyway, um... Yeah, so I was thinking of something along the lines of a really, really nice dinner and stuff. She always talks to me about um, how she wants to go out on a really, really fancy date where she gets all dressed up and stuff like that. But the problem is that I don't know any places to go like that are like that that's obviously not Olive Garden. And, uh... Because I want to make this super special, so I, I'm, I'm working on a couple ideas. And I'll, I'll keep you guys posted about that. Alright, sweet. Let's get, let's get this other side just finished up. And we can call it an episode. Almost done with this guy. I'm really excited. This is going to look really cool. We'll take a step back and see what we got in a minute. How do they do the front window over here? It's only a one wide. Okay, just making sure. Gotta be sure about these things, or else you're gonna have asymmetrical buildings, which which can be cool, don't get me wrong. Some asymmetrical buildings that I have seen have been very, very cool. However, that is... was it too wide, or was it one? No, that was too wide. I just want to make sure I get this right. Because, uh... Because, yes. That's why. One, two, boom, boom, ba doom, boom, boom, ba doom, boom. And then I didn't do a window on the other side, so we can just blah, blah, blah with that. Um. Yep, come on. And then go here. Whoops, not what I wanted to do. This cherry wood, this this uh, rainforest wood, is, is kind of a nice color. I've never really liked it before. But I, I like it right now. It's it's kind of... It works, you know? And the floor, I'm thinking about using either birch wood or regular wood planks. Regular oak planks. I don't know yet. The decisions in Minecraft that I have to make are so difficult sometimes. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. They're first world problems, right? <laughs> Alright, where'd they go? Here we go. I got a lot of this uh, rainforest wood. So let's see how this looks really quickly, and then we'll go and work on the back. Because I don't know exactly how I want windows to work. I like it. I'm going to move, I'm going to complete this island around this half here. Just a little bit more. I'm going to leave it floating over there. I've got plenty of dirt to do that. I'll probably do that off camera because that's going to take a long time. But from the different angles, this doesn't look too bad. No, not at all. I like it. And I like the style. I'm really liking the style. Oh wait, I said I would do this off camera. What am I doing? What am I- stop putting dirt down. Come on. The people don't want to see you complete an island. They want to see you build a house. But I like the island. Shut up. Do your work. Like a good boy. Oh, we need some more regular logs. Let's go make one last trip to collect logs for this episode. And then we'll finish this guy up. I have two things I need to do with logs, so we need just a few. I mean, not too, not too little, but not too much. So we're gonna make a quick stop. Chicken, chicken, chick, chick in, chick out. Chick be in, chick be out, yo. Alrighty, we are just about finished.
And I keep saying that because I don't want you guys to go anywhere. But you guys will probably f end there, like, just fast forward, so you're probably not even watching right now. I'm just kidding. No, do that, please. I need your views. Um, yeah. Sorry about that lapse of emotional concentration. Ay ay ay. So now that you guys are in school, I also want you guys to leave me a comment telling me what time is best for me to upload for you. Um, I want to know because I have got plenty of time. I, I usually upload when I go to bed so that it's up in the morning. But by that time, a lot of people have... Whoops, let's fix that because I don't want to take this tree down. A lot of people have already uploaded their videos so that um, my video would probably be really far down on the list. So you probably wouldn't see it as clearly. I'm trying to launch you guys to see it, so what, what time do you guys want me to be uploading if you want to still see my videos? Um, that's kind of important, I guess. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are just about done! Come on, work with me here. Trees, fall faster. And I'm kind of hungry, I'm gonna go get some food after this. Maybe go to Pizza Hut or something. I, I want some real food. I haven't Sitting at home right now, really bored. And I want some real food. I want some real food, man. Give me some real food. Some real, real food. And I think each of the houses that I've built here needs a small dock. So what I have uh, going right there, that bridge, is nice. But I want to put a small dock coming out of there and a small dock coming out of there. As well as this boathouse. So this will be very, very cool. Now, um, just to make this a little bit more looky looky I'm gonna do this just like that like that is that right? is that what I wanna do? and then I wanted to put this here and then we'll put wood behind it. Let's just see how that looks. Oh, I like that. That looks really cool. That gives it a little bit more character, in my opinion. Opinion. And then what we can do is connect it right here. Come on. Like that. And we're going to connect it all around the outside too, but out here we want this. Um, these are going to be solid walls, and then this is going to have a little bit of a larger window in the back. Or maybe no window at all. I don't know, I haven't decided. <laughs> First world problems, once again. And I don't know how I'm going to do the roof on this guy yet, this is going to be difficult. Very difficult indeed. Indeed, sir, madam. Yes, I agree. And we're just about done with that. Alright, so how do we want this last thing to go? Because this does not have a center point, which I kind of screwed up on. I was trying to get it so that it would have a center point, but it doesn't. Let's see something. Hold on. Alright, that's the center, so... This roof is going to be very awkward looking, because I didn't do it in odd numbers. Yes, I've been watching B-dubs. <laughs> do something like this. And then put a one wide window in here. That's what we'll do. Oops. Right there. One, two, so like, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And we'll do one more over here, and we'll be done for the day. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I know this has been a little bit of a longer episode, but uh, I really wanted to get some cool work done, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about that whole school shebang. And uh, I hope I hope I, uh, I gave you guys some good advice today, because, uh, you know, I, I, I don't necessarily always give the greatest advice, but uh, I know what I'm talking about when it comes to adjusting to school. Um, I really do, so don't... Just, 
you know, just just open your ears a little bit and pay attention to that, because if, if, if anything, that's the only thing you should ever pull away from me, is how to adjust to a good school. Or a new school, I should say. Anyway, I should... I shouldn't finish this up by next time, but I probably will. So, uh, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.